Yo, what up, though? What up, world? What up, YouTube world? It's your boy, Payvix. Payvix Music, Thoughts with Payvix, episode 34. We're going to go with that. Episode 34. Uh, Make sure you follow me on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Send me an email. Hit me up. Holla at your boy, man. Uh, New music coming soon, man. You already know that. We in the lab all day. But we're going to get right into it, man. Like, you know Mother's Day is coming up. And I just, I'm just over holidays. I don't know who put this stuff together but they're getting more and more just watered down and i'm gonna tread lightly because i know it's a um it's a very emotional day all holidays you know they have meaning and stuff but it's the stress of the holidays and the force that comes along with it. You know what I mean? It's it's saving the date. It's expecting. And um it's a deadline. You know what I mean? It's 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 along with your, you know what I mean, daily tasks or your lifely tasks, like every day or every week, every month, all the stuff you plan on doing that month it's like oh let me do what the world is telling me to do and it's just hard like Christmas is what set it off and you can see this on previous episodes like having to you know run around just to make somebody believe you love them and it's like i think it's like the algorithm and control and the chaos of just america in general you know what i mean or not 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 america but in terms of um uh the people in power just being able to create this stuff and it's like again Black History Month, they gave us a whole month, but we don't even celebrate that the way that you celebrate Mother's Day or Christmas. Like, you don't see, it's like, it's different tiers of holidays, and it's not, and then, it's just, man, why can't we come together for, for some, for stuff that, that actually matters? Like, um, I don't know. I I actually don't even feel like talking about it no more. I'm I'm actually over it. But me personally, I'm over holidays because I I'm I'm not trying to spend money and I'm not trying to prove um I'm not trying to be all like stressed out because the world is telling me to be stressed out. It's like if I miss it or you don't understand my love besides this day or this moment and this is not directed to my mom. It sounds like I'm dissing her, but uh shout out to moms. But um it's just like in terms of holidays in general, I'm over it. Birthdays are holidays. That's a holiday. It's the day you was born. If you're my friend, um, you know what I'm saying? That's a holiday to me. It's not some we can celebrate. Um, every day is a holiday. You know what I mean? Like... Yes, holidays give you something to look forward to. But again, it's like every day is a holiday. They they don't count those moments when you actually do think of a person and do something out of your way for them. What is that called? That's a holiday to me. Like, you might have done something special for somebody two weeks ago. You know what I mean? And then you come across... You know what I mean? Brother's Day, Sister's Day, Father's Day, 
But you already did something. It's like, it's done, man. It's cool. Okay. Pardon my negative vibes. I don't know about this episode. This episode is actually kind of tricky because uh, I want to touch on a, a lot of subjects that actually are kind of negative, And I might offend people with this one. And I don't care. Um, But we'll get to that. Um, I do want to talk about the rap beef that's been going on. <sighs> All right. It's happening really fast. Um, All I know is a month, two months ago, Kendrick set it off, right? Kendrick Lamar comes out with a verse on somebody else's song. So it wasn't even his song that he dropped as a diss to somebody. It was somebody else's song. He's featured on it, and he uses his featured verse as a diss verse. That's very mediocre to start with. That was the start of all of this 2024 rap beef. All right, so you got a verse on somebody else's track. You use that verse to diss Future. He did come at a lot of people. Future, Drake, Metro, whatever, everybody. All right, so Kendrick takes on the whole industry with one verse on somebody else's song and album. Whatever. Never heard of that kind of stuff before. You go diss somebody, do it on your own time. That's how I look at it. Um, And the song, I mean, the song not even talking about nothing until he come on anyway. <sighs> Music, man. So um, Kendrick set it off. And I think Kendrick ultimately is the winner of all of this rap beef. That That's the standing point, though. Like, as as... Whack, I'm not calling it whack, but as whack as his approach was and setting it off, he actually is the winner to me out of everything that else that happened after that. Uh, because he's not friends with these people. So, well, per what I know, I don't know none of them, but you can't ignore this stuff. So, then... What happens? Okay, Kendrick disses everybody. J. Cole? Or was it Drake? J. Cole comes out and disses Kendrick back. His diss was on his album. Okay? Check mark. You get a check. That's good. On his album, it was his song. It was the last song on the album. Like, this stuff is hard, all right? That's how you do it. Last song on the album, uh, his album, and he going off. He's snapping. All right, cool. <sighs> then he apologizes um, publicly. Now, it is Kendrick Lamar, so, like, the public apology, yeah, because, again, I thought, like, everybody was a camaraderie. I thought Kendrick and Cole were the two lyricists that you didn't want to have problems with in the industry. So them going at each other, I don't understand. But here it is. It's the rap beef between Kendrick and, and Cole, and then J. Cole apologizes. That's never been done in hip-hop history, but... You can be the first J. Cole. It's actually a very honorable move, but we're excited to see what happens next because everybody wants him to diss Kanye. Everybody <laughs> says that him dissing Kendrick, I'm sorry, him apologizing to Kendrick is honorable, notable, noble, but Kanye making fun of him for doing that is his moment to do a 360 on him apologizing to Kendrick and show that Kanye, I ain't going to apologize to you, and he would get his name back. So we waiting on that. That'll be dope. That'll be dope because Kanye started dissing J. Cole out of the blue. I don't even know where that came from. I know Kanye, you know what I mean? He be 
he tipped the scale a little bit and he do what he want to do, but I don't even see why he coming at J. Cole. It's not even, it's not even right. So then Drake is dissing Rick Ross. He dissing Metro. Oh my God. He said, Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums. All right. So that's dissing to me. Like when you hear when you hear the name drop Metro, like he talking to you, and then he 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 talking that shit behind it, like that is a diss to me. All of the just lyrical miracle, fuck the big three, it's just big me, like all of that stuff, like that's not dissing to me. Like like that's why people got so mad with all of these disses because they not taking those real shots. Tupac hit him up, you know who he talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, this record's Nas, Ether, Jay-Z, TakeOver. Like, they talking to somebody about somebody. There's nothing held back. Like, bombs getting dropped. Um, Rick Ross beefing with Drake. <sighs> and it's happening so fast. Now, Quavo... And Chris Brown, they really going at each other, man. Them, them two. I don't, I don't know. I want to stay out of that. Them two, they, 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 they kind of. Um, it's some, it's some sparks in there. It's some, it's some, it's some electricity between them two. So, um, no, I don't want to see it uh, escalate to, you know what I mean? Real beef in the streets and like somebody getting hurt. But them diss records, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit. That shit gotta be cold. It ain't supposed to be just coming out all fast. Like, you gotta plan your attack. You gotta be strategic, man. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, the internet is just pushing that shit out. And it's like, Drake and Future. They just did a whole album together a couple years ago. And then Drake and Rick Ross, they did songs together a couple years ago. And who else? Who else? Real tight. J. Cole and Drake. J. Cole and Drake just dropped. What was that? They dropped a whole album together or something? Like. These people, it just, it, it like, the music industry, it seemed like this was a planned attack from the industry. A, like, let's act up in 2024. Things are too quiet. Things are too cool. So let's just cause some controversy. All right, I get it. But I don't want to be able to figure that shit out. Like, I could figure it out. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, this shit don't make no sense. Why did Kendrick just come out dropping bombs anyway? Why, like, I would, like, you randomly diss me? That shit better make sense, man. Like, because if not, I'm going to just be like, like, you might get a bar. I might give you a bar. Like, I'm not about to, that shit didn't make no sense. Like, it's just happening. It's like, oh, 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 he, what? Oh, oh. Let me hear that that shit. None of it is is dope. What y'all talking about? Where's where's the personal? Where's the personals? Alright, man. That's that's from a hip hop head. I could talk about this all day. Uh I was just listening to all them disses today. I actually ran them down in the list. Um And I know it's planned out because think about J. Cole's attack. He says Might delete later. Like, that's the name of his album, Might Delete Later. And he actually fucking deletes it later. How was... <sighs> Dude. It's just not fair. It's not It's not fair to me. As a hip-hop head, it's just not fair to me. So I ain't buying into this. I'm not, I'm not buying into it. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. These songs are not that cool. I mean, they're cool, but they... Okay. Who's up? Who's up? 
Usa, usa. Usa. Um, don't beat me up. All right? I'm I'm speaking from my heart, man. Um women it's just a small teeny tiny little baby message I want to get across to y'all because I feel like things are declining a little bit too fast um women I want y'all to stop acting crazy I said it Please, just stop. Like, there's different levels to this conversation, and I'll probably circle back around to it. I've been wanting to talk about this since I started Thoughts with Pavex, but I don't want the backlash, and I don't want, I don't want the problems. It's just... I've recently had some falling outs with people and it just seems like like I don't know. It seems like 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 they don't understand. So bottom line, it's not the sixties anymore. And, you know what I mean? It's not cook, clean, and have sex, and just sit back and be a woman. No, I get it. You guys are growing, and (sighs) it might be confusing, but... I want y'all to just stop being so mad at men. Like, y'all be invested in a certain male or a certain guy, and y'all act like y'all don't understand when things go left or um, how it's supposed to play out. All right, the guy is trying to sleep with you. Like, from the, hey, hello, how you doing? Oh, you dropped your potato. Let me pick up your potato and stare in your eye and give you your potato back and smile. Like, horny, immediately, okay? Whether you felt it or not, whether you knew, like, okay, you you guys are automatically on to something. And this plays for every guy in your life that's not immediate family. You need to learn how to evaluate these men and categorize them categorize them the way they're supposed to be categorized. Like, like, um, you have all of the power. Like, if a, a female gets mad at me and then apologizes, like, I don't need the apology because you're a female. You can go off on me. I don't have to understand it. You could be super nice to me. I don't have to understand it. I'm not here to understand females. But it gets confusing when y'all either one try to act like a man, to think you are a man, or, like, do man things, or, like, it it just, like, the world is just jacked up right now, and I just, like, me personally, I'm pro-woman, I want y'all to win, like I want y'all to be strong. I believe in y'all. You know what I mean? I I I look for the smart woman. Um not the attractive woman. We all are attracted to women, but it's just like 
stop playing the victim. I want y'all to be like, know that you have something that men want in the abundance. Like, you got all the power. So, yeah, stop playing the victim. And stop trying to be a man. Like, plant flowers, sow, cook, look pretty. Like, that's what y'all do. Leave the guns and the push-ups and the whatever. Like, masculinity to the men. You know what I mean? (sighs) Y'all, women have been very mean. And, again, you're allowed to be mean. But I just wish, like, the emotional aspect was a little more in control. Um, And, again, I get it. It's not the 60s. And it's y'all under a lot of scrutiny. Like... Only fans is ruining y'all. You know what I mean? It's 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 a lot of stereotypes that come with women. And you know, the the speculation of women are just as horny, if not more horny than guys, and uh do all of the stuff that guys do and all this stuff. It's like that's cool. I want y'all to embrace all of that. But always remember that you're still not a dude. You know what I mean? Like, it's a turn off. And I'm speaking very abrasively. Like, I, I hope whoever is watching this can carry it out to the end because I'm not speaking from a men are superior place. It's it's from a loving standpoint. Like if, if a dude is chasing you down and he's a nerd and he's not your type, let him down gently. No, you don't got all the time to let down every guy in your inbox gently. But there was a situation the other day where I complimented a woman. I said, that picture is fire. Not because I want to fuck you. Not because you're the most beautiful girl in the world. I said, the picture is fire. She left me on red. And I'm like, this is a person I've never flirted with before. We're just, we've been mutual friends for about two years. You know what I mean? We, we, we chime in every now and then for a like or two. Just whatever. You know, internet stuff. But I actually... Spoke to her the other day. Now, you could be out and about. I get it, time, all of that stuff. But you, like, what I got from you leaving me on red, and it's not the first time. It's not the first time. But what I get from that is you got me figured out when you don't. And it makes me want to go off. Like, you don't got me figured out. And you should be able to accept a compliment. Even if it's something as simple as thank you or you can agree with me. Yeah, I know. Like, be confident. Like, anything but this bitchy attitude. Like, (laughs) oh, my God, man. I could go on about this forever. Um, I'm I'm just, this is not even cool. It's just not even cool. Um, And that kind of leads me to today's thought. Because, um, like I said, I've 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 actually lost a couple of friends recently because of communication battles or being misunderstood or just uh, things along that nature. So the question is, how much do you have to say until you've said too much? How much do you have to say until you've said too much? Now, from my standpoint, in this situation, I only talk to people I trust. Like, if I don't know you and I don't trust you, I'm not even talking to you. 
you might, we might, you know what I mean? We could vibe. We could vibe. But I'm talking about, like, if we survive some stuff together, if we, you know what I mean, we spend hours together, we growing, I see you a lot, something like that. Like, if I talk to you, if I got a moment, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing my heart with you. You know what I mean? So if if from my standpoint, there is no limit of what I could say to you or tell you because I love you. So like I'm letting you know who I am, who I was, who I'm trying to be like I'm speaking aspirations, inspirations, uh, affirmations, like motivation, like I'm trying to grow with you because I can't see you leaving or I can't see life without you and all the time I'm thinking you're thinking the same thing but that's not the case at all and that's where people get hurt and that's how I've been getting hurt like this recent trend these recent transactions with people I've been getting hurt man and and I'm actually tired of it because I shouldn't be getting hurt like this um so I think that people's perception of the information that I give out is taken the wrong way. That didn't even come out right. That don't even make sense. I don't know. I'm going to have to replay that. But I don't think people are able to receive the information that I'm giving the correct way. I like... I feel like there's so many communication barriers in the English language and interpretation that it clouds people's reality. And it's like, me, I'm stopping you at the the in a sentence where I get confused. I'm stopping you at the I, at the A, at the you said. I said, like, I'm stopping you at the technicality. I'm stopping you at the detail, at the moment, at the time frame, at the millisecond. Like, I'm stopping you the moment my brain goes, wait, what? Like, what? I'm stopping you right there. And I want you to finish your thought after I say, wait a minute. I'm confused. I need you to clarify. Like, Everybody don't do that in the conversation. Like, and yeah, it's good to be a listener, but if you think about all of the miscommunication in the world and all of the misinformation and all of the shit that goes wrong on a daily basis, you got to, if it means something to you, you got to make it make sense. You got to be like, hold up right there. Don't lose your, like, do it again. Say it again. What happened? But you know what I'm saying? Like, and the type of person I am, I'll stop you and I'll talk to you and I'll, I want you to clarify and um, keep going. And it's just it's a process. You know what I mean? Um, I pride myself on my uh, not communication skills, but on my vocabulary and my intellect and my positive outlook. Because I'm I'm not negative. Like, I don't look at a lot of stuff as negatively as most Americans. Like, um, you know, I'm a very keep it moving kind of guy. And I'm a very lifelong friend kind of guy. Like, I don't care what we've been through. Like, we all about, you know what I'm saying? We all about to live this life. We all, like. We know summer coming. We know winter coming. We know, like, we get, I get it. Like, day by day, like, we all, you know, you got to eat, you got to sleep, you got to, you know what I'm saying? It's it's life. We all living this together. Why we got, why we got to fall out? Why we got to delete each other? Why we got to be worst enemies? Why can't we just disagree in peace? How come it can't be, I'm the Pistons, you the Bulls? The Pistons are better. No, the Bulls are better. No, the Pistons are better. No, the Bulls are better. Okay, whatever. It don't even matter in the first place. Who cares? Let's talk about something else that matter. Like, but we could debate about that. It, you know, I look at it like fun. Like, and 
in terms of politics and opinions and all of that stuff, I just think, um, I don't know. People got to just take their time, man, and, like, get it together. All right, man. I'm out of here, man. I, I know I done talked y'all doggone ears off, but, hey, thoughts with pay picks. Holla at your boy.